Hi everyone, it's Gail and I am here today going to do um, the Roxy's weekly challenge. I think it's number 12. Um, this will be interesting because I've had to kind of do some substituting. I don't have all the things that uh, Rachel worked with in hers. So we're just going to wing it here. Um, let's say hi and hugs first to Gypsy, Rose, Jane, Nancy, Michael, and Shannon Ray Studios. Thank you so much for watching and for your comments. And um, yeah, I'll show you what I have here. Rachel had a little bit bigger envelopes um, that she worked with. And these, these have some stuff on the back, but I think that's all okay. I grabbed some sacks out of my use it up. Here's another little envelope. It's got sticky stuff right there, but I don't know. I think we can cover it or whatever. So I got enough so I could keep myself busy. Let's see. Okay. I am going to get started and we will be done at 20 until 11. Okay. So, first things, I think we need to rip down these papers to um, to fit these. I just did I just did five. Okay, let's see here. Um, oh, there it is. I was looking for my tear ruler. Sorry, guys. Um, let's see. Let's just use one and see where we get to here. Let's see. Um, let's see, and that's going to go on this side, I think. Is that right? Did it go like that? I feel like it went like that. Okay. <laughs> I have to remember what Rachel did. Okay. So, first of all, we can get these torn down to... I don't know if I can tear these all at once, but I'm going to try it. We'll see. Oh yeah, you bet I can. Okay, and then right here. Come in just a tiny bit. And all this can be used in collage, so that's all good. Okay, let's see, now what did she do? <laughs> oh my goodness, yes, it's just... Okay, I, I need to fold these down. That's that much, I know. It's hard to just fold them straight. You don't really want to fold straight. So I hope you're all having a good day, crafting away, hopefully. We've got an interesting day today. Woke up to a little snow. And yet the sun is shining brightly out there. So I don't know what today's going to bring. We're going to just go with it. Okay. So I'm going to um, glue those. Let's see, get some glue pages out. Okay, let's see. I don't know. I hope I'm doing this right. <laughs> we'll see, won't we? Okay, so that is gonna go right there. And then and then it will flip down like that. Although I got it a little over too far, but that's okay. We're gonna go with it. Oh boy. This one it was a little bit I don't know if out of my comfort zone, kinda. I've not done something like this before, so kind of is. This might be a better way to do it, and then I'll get it centered a little bit better. Okay. Oh. No, I'm okay. I'm okay. Never mind. I was thinking the whole punch that I messed that up, but I don't think so. Oops. Jeez, glue issues already today. So 
this is kind of fun, as Rachel would say, something different. Okay. Yeah, I thought I would, I thought I would do a few, or grab a few of those sacks and things just to have, because I felt like I could do these fairly quickly. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how we do, how it goes. Okay. Okay, so there's that one. I'm just going to spread this out a bit and call that page done. I need to have a session of collaging these soon. Get a few of them, you know, made up into something. Okay, so then I think next is stamping on these. So I grabbed a few stamps. I also grabbed different color ink pad. I have a blue lagoon and a teal. And I have no idea if these even work. We might have to go to black if they don't. I have no idea. Okay, I have this little bunny stamp. Let's try it first. I do appreciate having a project to do with stamps, though, because I, like, from, from what you guys have said, most of us don't use our stamps as much as we should. Okay, I'm going to stamp that on one of these extra pieces of paper just to see if that stamp pad is working because I'm not positive. Oh yeah, isn't that cute? <laughs> He's so cute. Okay, well, we can use that one for another one if we get time. Okay. Oh, I wanted to grab one of my drop papers to put under to stamp off on. I might have to do that, guys. Even though it will take a second, I may just do that so that I have something to stamp off on and then it'll be decorating that a little bit. Oh, he's cute. Okay. Um, Obviously, this one's already been stamped on some, but that's okay. We'll, we'll just use it anyway. Be different color today, right? Gosh, I just got stuff everywhere. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay, so we're going to call that one good. I don't know that there's anything to stamp off. A little bit. Okay. Um... Now, let's do another one. And I do like the stamp pad, so we're going to go with that. Um, let's do these flowers, which really I only need to get to about right there. This stamp says demo on it. I know I got it at a estate sale. Somebody was doing demonstrations with it, apparently. Okay, okay, flowers, those are pretty, okay. This is so out of my norm, Rachel. I'm kind of feeling weird about it, but I think it's gonna be good. Oh, this one I can actually see the ink on, so that's good. This one apparently was a Hobby Lobby sale because it's it was ten ninety nine and I got it for two seventy five. I love that. Ooh, that's a pretty one, isn't it? Love that. Okay, that's my favorite so far. 
Okay. Oh, I wanted to. I wanted to use this little girl. She's from RedLeadPaperWorks.com. They have awesome stamps. If you haven't, oh, I forgot to. I went and got this, and I'm forgetting to stamp off on it. Goofy, Goofy Gale. Let's see where'd that one go. There it is. Too late. <laughs> okay. Okay, little cute girl. Come here. Oh, come off. Okay. It's only going to be the top of her, but that's okay. Like about like there. Okay. Thing rattles as I'm pounding that. Okay, I'm just gonna go like that. See how that one turns out? Oh, isn't she cute? That is cute. Okay. Okay, now I have one more over here is flowers is that gonna work very well i think i think it might be okay let's try it anyways won't know till we try i guess okay this was another sale hobby lobby 250 regularly 9.99 Love it when I get a bargain. Hobby Lobby's first on my list for, oh, that's pretty. For um, once I've waited long enough after the second vaccine, <laughs> it's, it's on my list, Hobby Lobby. It's just been so long since I've walked around, you know. Not that I need anything because I don't, but... Okay, so I'm gonna set this aside now for a second and we'll just work on these, continue to work on these. Now we need to put um, paper, writing paper there. So let's see, what do I have? I thought I would look, oh gosh, I'm making a mess. Uh, first in this size scraps and then we'll see what we have yeah I don't know that I'm really gonna have much in these I don't know what that that would work that little scrap it's too thin um, this one's a bit too thin thickness wise I feel like Okay, that could work. Could this one work? Maybe. Okay, let's go to our larger scraps. There's plenty of stuff in here. I don't know. This one's going to work. This one's not really big enough, I'm going to say. I'm only going to keep that one because I have lots in here to work with. This would be cute. Let's work with that. Ooh, that would be kind of fun. Okay. That should be enough. So, so this one, I'm going to down this away. Oops. Maybe. I'm just going to tear a little bit off the top too. Okay, and that's going to go here. And we need to tear the bottom off. It can go back in the scraps. Okay, we have that one. 
that one. And then let's do let's do this. Okay, I'm gonna tear the bottom again. I'm actually going to go this way just to get the measurement. Right here. Okay. I'm okay with that being straight. Okay. So, I'll go right about here. Okay. And there's that one. Alrighty then, now we should be able to use this one for these two. If you will, tear this edge a little bit. This is just coffee dyed paper with some gesso on it. That's what this is. Right there. for this one. This. Get all this business done, then we can decorate. those put down I'm gonna have to keep one of these for my idea folder since I've never made it before or my idea journal I mean one of the many that I have floating around here there Okay, there's that one. So fun, I have to tell you, one of my, one of my subby friends is moving to the Denver area. And so she's been spending time with my middle daughter that's a real estate agent there. And it's just been so fun. They've both been uh, messaging me that they had fun spending the day together looking for places and stuff. And yeah, it's just cool. So if you're moving to the Denver area, do I have the real estate agent for you? <laughs> or if you're moving to Bozeman, Montana, I also have the real estate person for you. Um, I'm kind of looking at these and I'm thinking, you know what, I need a new piece of paper. I'm thinking, um, that I'm going to need to put something there before I um, before I go ahead and punch these. Okay. I 
do you believe? We're just going to need to cover that up a little. You know, but it kind of is cute, too, that it says check the contents immediately on receipt. <laughs> You better look in there. There could be a journaling card. <laughs> oh, you guys, I'm such a horrible sister. I Today's my brother's birthday, so I need to call him. But I forgot to send him a card. I have not looked at my calendar in literally months. It's just the craziest thing. Okay, there's that one. Okay, so to put things on here, I can actually use that stamp. Where's my, where's my girl? Here's my girl. Um, I'm gonna steal one of these. And then I think I'm going to just gonna tear that right there. You notice I'm not um, distressing. Okay, I'm going to put that right there, and then I'm going to use that other stamp. Oh, no, it'll have a hole in it, so I don't want to use this stamp, so never mind. But I still might like that there. I might. <laughs> you knew I was going to do it, didn't you? Oh, I try. I can't help it. I just... It just doesn't look right to me until it's got a little edging. Oh, you were like, yeah, right, Gail. <laughs> well, maybe some of the decorating's going to be. Oh, my gosh. This, the, this um, definition, this is an Italian dictionary. And one of the dec decorations is to unfold wings, to spread the wings. Now that's going to get the hole in it, though. That's a bummer. But that's kind of cool to know that's there. Okay. Anyway. That feels like a meant to be moment. Okay, so there's that. So now we can we can put something on the inside. Cause Rachel just did like a little decorative something in one of the lower corners or something. Um you know what I think I'm gonna do is stamp excuse me if I was in camera I'm going to stamp this little girl down in the corner right here that would be cute and then there's still plenty of room to write on it My two little girls with wings. Oh my gosh, she's so adorable. Yeah, so that one's done. Yay, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so now what? This one has a flower, so that's good. We could put, we could do washi tape. We could, I'm looking at my use it up and seeing if there's anything washi tape wise. 
Yeah, those are kind of the right colors, aren't they? Let's put a little washi right there. I'm going to leave this undone because obviously I'm using it. Okay. Let's put that right there. Okay. And then in here, a little blue flower would be nice, but I really don't know that I have any that small. Um, labels, let me get out. Where's my small botanical labels? Tracy. Tracy Fox Love Junk Journals. Ooh, there's a blue one. No, it might be. I might feel like it's too big, or maybe not. Do we have a teeny weeny one? We have a round one. I might do that on this one. Yes, this is happening. Okay, so I want that one up there. Okay. Keeping my eyeball on where I put it. Up there. Good. And this one. that and it's kind of nice because the envelope behind makes it easier to distress the page okay so that one's done it not done done but decorated Okay, this one, once again, is flowers. You know what I would love to use? Let me just get up in my cupboard here. Is, I never use my die cuts. And I always say to myself, you should use your die cuts, Gail. So I'm wondering if we could just take a little of a one and put it here like I mean it could even go clear up the side like that yeah I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna do that you know I go to all the work of getting them cut out and then don't use them that's silly Let's see we're gonna use our glitter glue on this guy so we're going to go to about just right there. I'm just going to tear that off so I know where to glue. Oh boy, you're all goobered up, aren't you? This is one of the many times that I really appreciate the fine tip on the old art glitter glue. Trying to get glue on every little leaf so that it'll stick down. There. Isn't that cute? Okay. Oh, right. We need something across the top. 
Um, I wonder if I have like a word or a phrase. Actually, maybe one of Tracy's botanical labels would be good. If she's got kind of a longer one, which I mean, I know she does. It's just, do I have one left? It's the only question. There's some skinnier ones. Mm -hmm. This one would be good. I don't know that it's long enough. It is. Let's use that. Oh, it's going to have a hole through it, but that's okay. These might not have been the best envelopes to use, but... But they do kind of have fun stuff on the back, so you wouldn't have to... Um, you wouldn't have to glue them down. You could... You could not... <laughs> Clip them in or something. Okay, now we have Mr. Bunny. Um, he's got a little something happening here. Um, <laughs> you know what? I did a bunch of fussy cutting. Where is it? It's right there. I did a bunch of fussy cutting from um, my porch, or yeah, porch swing designs, porch swing designs. And I have, I have some vellum bunnies. One of them might be nice. I did so much fussy cutting, I don't know, and I don't know if it was the fussy cutting or something else, but my hand is killing me, this one. I don't understand why my left hand is that kind of cute there? that's kind of cute there. I think I'm going to go with that. Um, yeah, I don't know why my non-dominant hand is the one that gets so sore, but last night I had to put salon paws down here and on my thumb and on this finger. I don't know. I, um, I want to find some kind of cream that is soothing to arthritis. If you guys have a favorite one here in the U.S., I had a subby send me some stuff from Canada that was really good. It was P3 something or another. Um, but I don't have any more of that. So, but I would, yeah, I would certainly take recommendations on that because, ugh. I just hope my hands never get to the point where I can't do this. You know what I mean? Because then I'd be in the loony bin. <laughs> okay, so then we need to do something across the top again. I see another one of the use it up washies that might work look at this one for some reason with the orange it reminds me of a bunny carrot probably I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it started here there we go there we go All right. Okay. Let's pop that 
that across there. Okay, so that one's done. You sticking on there pretty well, little bunny? You seem to be. Okay, one more here, which is also, oh yeah, it's got that, so that's kind of cool. I'd like to do another, I can do another um, one of these die cut. That's cute, isn't it? Oh, I'm feeling so good about myself that I'm using my die cuts. That's awesome. Well, we'll probably need that. I don't know. Okay. Um, just have to take a tiny bit off the bottom of that. Oh, this one's in rough shape. I apparently had trouble getting it out of the out of the um, die. A little ripped on the back but that's okay we glue this bad boy down no one will be the wiser I was very sad today I reading the paper one of the students that was kind of a friend an older than average student is what we called him back then. I don't know if that's what they still do. But um, he passed away. He's just a couple years older than me. So I was sad to see this morning. Oh. Got to make the best of every day, people. We do. Okay, well, I don't know if the colors exactly go together, but that's right. Those colors really, really don't go. What do we got here? Nothing there. Maybe we'll just use like a neutral. Here's a neutral. Feeling happy to be using some things out of my use it up box too. Okay. That is a little bit lumpy right there. Let's tear it off. Okay. Okay, now the next thing is to punch the holes. Now, Rachel used her crocodile because she has a, um, whatchamacallit, a die cut thing. Or a punch, I mean, for these. Now, I think I need to use regular size because... And she did hers out of um, pattern paper. I'm just going to give mine a little bit of a distress because I don't have that punch. So it's like we just have to kind of adapt to what we have on hand to work with. But we can still do the ideas. We just have to figure out a kind of a workaround for some of this equipment we don't have or whatever so okay so punch so I'm just going to use my hole punch and and then go as close to the middle as I can and hopefully I didn't, went a little bit in there, but that's okay. Okay. Try not to go down so low this time. Yeah, that's better. This is great. It's going to go kind of right where there's no writing. 
worked out well. And uh, this one. Okay. And then I'm going to put these on. And, oh, I have to grab grab my string and stuff up there, too. There we go. Okay. There's that. Then we need to put our string in them. Let's see. <clears throat> this is my rat's nest of string and such. Um, it's all from, you know, like packaging on Etsy or whatever. So, yeah, that's what this is. My goodness. Okay. Um, how are we doing time-wise? We are doing pretty well. I think we're gonna we're gonna get these five done. I thought I'd get more done, but I didn't. So Rachel said to give this some, you know, give it a little um, leeway because so your thing still opens. So we do this and then put a little knot in it. Oh, and then she had things hanging down. Okay, well, she had some things she made with book page. I'm going to just use some like little, like these little tags that I have, I think. I forgot about that part. I'm not going to get any done, Rachel, in my time with it. <laughs> So what could we do? Oh, you know what we could do with this one is I have I have an itty bitty bunny. That'd be cute. Okay, that's not great. So, what if we, um, put like a little bit of text behind him, just lightly. Pretty good. Use a little more right there. Okay. Well, it's gonna, it's, it will do. It will do. We're gonna say. Yeah, I felt like I was forgetting something. Sure was. Okay, so that's right. We're going to just pop some stuff. So now, because that's kind of loose, you can still open and get your thing out or whatever. Yay, so that one's done. This one, I have this little, this little crazy tag that's got a little lace on it. So that could be cute. You know what I'm going to do is not use that. I'm just going to add this. Let's see. How would I do that? Try and... Try and do this. <laughs> what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funky. 
good. It's okay. I'm going to go with it. Okay, that one's done. Let's see. Do I have any, What else do I have in here that I can attach? All the little stuff is at the front. Oh, I have this. This would be cute. Yeah, let's use that. It's just embossed, uh, embossed tag, and then it's gone over with ink. Oh my goodness, my stomach's growling so loud. I'm sorry if you heard that. Okay, yeah, that's kind of cute. Okay. Let's see what else. Oh, I do have some. Oh, look at this. Turquoise. Okay. Gosh, we're using some of my stuff I haven't used in a while. I think that is so great. I'm counting these being done. Granted, it may not be in the 45 minutes because, like, I got to get this knot out of this string. You know, I have challenges. You know, I may not be done with this either because something else hanging down there would be cute or like a, a bulb pin with some buttons on it or something. But I can add those on when I do whatever I'm going to do with it. Okay, that that's cute. Okay. Do I have any more of those? I do. Oh, the music one. I think I'm going to do this one with her. It looks sort of celestial to me. And I think I'm just going to use the same string. Okay. Well, that was a scramble at the end, wasn't it? Goodness. Okay, so there's that one. I don't know. I think I think they're kind of cute. Let's see. So basically, I got done in my 45 minutes. However, I'm feeling like... Me. Excuse me as I stand on my head. Um, I'm feeling like I'd like something else on these as far as, uh, you know, let's see. Let's get out this little, this little bit. I don't know where this came from. Must come from my other drawer. Okay. Okay. I This is bits and pieces. Look at these little... These are cute. That'd be cute on one. Little numbers. I think these might have come from... SM Tiffany Lane, I'm not sure. And it's S as in Sam, M as in Mary, Tiffany Lane, L-A-N-E. Had a bunch of people ask in a recent video. I must have mumbled or something. Okay, I like that better. That one. Okay. Um, I have these that are really fun. These came from Casa di Cognetto on Etsy. Um, There, I need a need a bulb pin, and there's some buttons in here. Ugh. 
No wonder my hands get sore. <laughs> you know, it's just all the all the things expected of them in this little craft that we do. Okay, that's cute. I like that now. Um Oh, my little angel. What are we going to put on you? Here is a rusty pin. That could be cool. With a bell on it. A rusty pin with a bell on it. Okay. Uh, ha, ha, and then we have these two. How about a bulb pin with some buttons on this one? I think. Uh, in here and get these out. There's one. I think I want this one first. It's smaller. Okay, and you. And I'm going to put those on this little tag. Okay, I like that better. All right, and then this little guy. What should we do with you? Maybe we'll just put another one of these numbers. Where's the system, I guess. I don't know, maybe I had two packages of these. Must have, must have had two packages of this one. Because these are actually already on the pin. Okay. My little this is in that drawer. Okay. Okay. I'm going to consider that challenge done. Done and done. And then we're going to, yeah, we're going to have some cleanup to do. That's what we're going to have. Okay. So there they are. All of our five little, little things that flip open for a writing space and you can tuck something in them. Okay, well, thank you so much for crafting with me. Thank you, Rachel. This was a fun little different project. I enjoyed it. So now we have some fun things to stick in journals. So thank you, everyone. Have a grateful day. We'll just see you in the next video. Bye.